good evening and a very warm welcome to Ending the Day with God on Tuesday the 6th of February. Our opening music was, of course, the ever-popular hymn, Guide Me, O Thou Great Redeemer. And this is to complement our theme for this evening, Feeding on the Bread of Life. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory for ever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praises throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Come, Lord Jesus, you too were tired when day was done. Come, Lord Jesus, meet us here. Come, Lord Jesus, you kindled faith when lamps were low. Come, Lord Jesus, meet us here. Come, Lord Jesus, you opened scriptures when understanding was weak. Come, Lord Jesus, meet us here. Come, Lord Jesus, you broke the bread when night closed in. Come, Lord Jesus, meet us here. Come, Lord Jesus, you shed your light as darkness falls. Come, Lord Jesus, meet us here. Now to our reading which continues to look at the teachings of John's Gospel, and today, chapter 6, beginning at verse 32. <clears throat> Jesus said to the disciples, Very truly I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Thanks be to God. Now, our reflection. One of the characteristics of a Christian is that our desires change, sometimes abruptly, sometimes over a long period of time. This happens as we grow closer to God and learn to want what God wants for us, so that we bear witness to his likeness in the world. In our passage that we've just heard, the crowd wants to have bread that will satisfy their human craving for food. But as Jesus reminded Satan in the wilderness, human beings cannot live by bread alone. We need food that satisfies the soul and Jesus offers this freely from his own being when he says, I am the bread of life. John has already covered the encounter with the woman of Samaria, who moved from her desire to be free of having to collect water from the well every day, to the excited discovery that Jesus could satisfy her spiritual needs. John links the bread of life closely to the invitation to believe in Jesus and trust him. Notice first that Jesus emphasises that it is his Father in heaven who gives the true bread. And then Jesus uses the phrase ego eimi again, which so enraged his opponents because they knew he was implying that he was divine. I am. Just as God fed the people in the wilderness, Jesus also feeds those who come to him. Second, ponder the extravagance of Jesus' statement that anyone who comes to him will never be hungry or thirsty again. It is an invitation that we may 
taste and see for ourselves. Not all will take up the invitation, and why that should be so is a mystery. But having done so, we have no need to search anywhere else for satisfaction. What does it mean for us to feed on the bread of life? Amen. And now, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We place our souls and bodies under your guiding this night, O God, O Father of help to frail pilgrims, protector of heaven and earth. We place our souls and bodies under your guiding this night, O Christ, O Son of the tears and the woundings. May your cross this night be our shield, we place our souls and bodies under your glowing this night, O Spirit, O gentle companion and soul friend, our heart's eternal warmth. Amen. Let the light fade and the work be done. Let the flowers and the laptops close. Let the sun go down and the world become still and let the Son of God draw near. Blessed be all creation. For all life comes from you. In the name of the restful Father, in the name of the calming Son, in the name of the peaceful Spirit. May we and God be one. Amen. <laughs>